Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to finishing with our touch-ups and enhancements to zero. We only have a few more things to do, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply those scars that you see over his right eye. Here we go. First, I'm going to open an image that I found on the internet. It's called Scarring. It shows a guy with uh, prosthetic scars that he put on his face. And I'm going to take the lasso tool and I'm going to isolate this scar right here. Okay, now right click, select layer via copy, and we're going to move this into our zero smart object. Zoom in a little bit, and now we want to transform it. Transform it so it will contour to his face, make it smaller. and just generally place it in the area that you want to. Now take the eraser tool and just generally get rid of those obvious corners. Don't erase the actual uh, skin around the scar. We still want that bump that's created by the scar to show up. That's good enough. Now go to image, adjustments, We'll start with brightness and contrast. Up the contrast as much as you can so that scar really shows. You can already see it's fitting in really, really well. Go back to image adjustments and let's change our color balance. Red and yellow is the pro are the primary colors that I use when it comes to skin tones. So just try and get in there as best as you can. That's already looking good. Now the, uh, the secret ingredient to this is the clone stamp tool. Now since this is a separate layer, you want to make sure that in the top options panel, the all layers option is selected. That way when you alt and click around uh, an area of his skin, it can be from all visible layers. And just slowly but surely add take away from the mask and replace it with his skin. And you'll notice it slowly but surely starts to really fit in. That's pretty good. It already looks pretty fresh, but the one thing you want to do to really make it seem natural is take away the opacity and drop it to 50%. And you really only have a little bit more work to do. So you can try different things, like a little bit of burn, just to give it that extra bit of depth. You can see it really helps out. And that's basically it. Experiment around a lot so you can get, get it as close to looking real as possible. But generally, that's how you would add a scar. Take an element from another scar, Erase the area, change the brightness and contrast in the color schemes so it can best match, and it's really that simple. So, in the next video, we're going to get a little bit more complicated, and I'm going to make a wire and make it seem as if it is embedding into Zero's arm.